Welcome to Marvelous Designer Tutorial Series. Double Stripe Stitched Mattress Protector. For those using 9.5 and up, we have grouped more tools for a cleaner user interface. Please, long press the left mouse button on the tool to view a list of all the tools in the tool group. In this course, we will make Double Stripe Stitched Mattress Protector. First, import the box stitched mattress protector, CPRJ file. The file can be downloaded from the link in description. I'm going to edit the protector's band a little thinner. First, because the shape of the band is the same. Tie it up with an instance. After selecting the bottom line of the band with the Edit Pattern tool, move inside the pattern to reduce the height of the band. At this time, right-click while moving to bring up the Moving Distance pop-up, and enter the exact number. As the height of the band is narrowed, the length of the sewing line of the band is needed to be adjusted to match the narrowed height. Press the number 5 key on the view of the 3D window to switch to the top view. We will modify the padding line of protector to stripe pattern. After selecting the pattern with elastic, check the elastic of the entire pattern. Since there are many internal lines, it is difficult to choose one by one. In this case, you can select only the internal shapes by locking the pattern outline. Right click on the background of the 2D window and select the Lock All Pattern Outlines menu from the pop-up. The pattern outline color changes to gray and is not selected. Click and drag to select the inner shape area to delete, and then press the Delete key to delete it. Right-click on the background of the 2D window and select the Unlock All Pattern Outlines menu from the pop-up. With the Edit Pattern tool, select the lower and upper lines of the protector pattern, and right-click and select the Offset as Internal Line Along Curve menu. Enter the number of offsets as many as the desired number of lines. If you press OK, an internal line segment is created, as many as the entered number, and it is in the selected state. At this time, instead of deselecting the internal shapes, Right-click on the line segment to use the offset as internal line menu. I would like to make two lines of stripes. Enter the spacing of lines and click OK. If you check the sewing line with the Edit Sewing tool, you can see that the internal shapes of protector are not sewn. After deleting either pattern, you must duplicate it with Layer Clone. At this time, leave the pattern associated with the band and delete the other pattern. Right-click on the pattern associated with the band and select the Layer Clone under Menu. Unfreeze two patterns. To give the padding effect, enter the pressure value of the upper pattern as 30, and the lower pattern as negative 30. Simulate. I think the padding is stronger than I thought, so I'll reduce it. Enter 10 and negative 10 below and above respectively. Because the band pattern is fixed, the shape of the protector does not seem natural.
Deactivate band patterns. Modify the pressure value to 5 or negative 5. After selecting protector patterns, press Ctrl plus H to strengthen and flatten them. Then press Ctrl plus H again to cancel strengthen. To prevent the deformation of the outline of the pattern, select the seam taping tool from the 2D toolbar. Then click the pattern outline to set the seam tape. After activating the band patterns, Press Ctrl plus H to strengthen. A basic stripe protector is completed. Now I will give a natural wrinkle effect. Select one pattern from protector and set the total elasticity to 98%. If you give 90% of the elasticity of the entire pattern, natural wrinkles are expressed overall. Reduce the particle distance and protector patterns to 5. With protector pattern selected, press the Assign button on the Fabric tab to apply it as a new fabric. Among Fabric Property, select Cotton, 40S, Poplin from Preset. The Fabric Preset is just what you want. If you simulate, you can see that natural wrinkles have been created. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, hit the like button below and subscribe for more. If you have any questions about getting started in Marvelous Designer or this lesson, please leave a comment below and we will do our best to answer your question. If you want more information on and where to get Marvelous Designer, check out our website, forum, and official Discord channel in the link below.